Wichita's Biz That Is. I'm Tim Witzman. My guest today, Sam Kuntz, who has Air Capital Catering. And we've gotten as far as Air Capital and well, uh, beginning to do weddings and all. But uh, you had more dreams than just that. Well, as, you, as uh, the business developed, you know, uh, still had the, the ambition now to be successful. And I think anybody who has ambition tries to work hard and, and mm -hmm. succeed in whatever they're doing. And, uh, but, so, we did weddings, we, uh, we had a banquet hall, and uh, did all kinds of different things. And, and uh, now we've moved, moved downtown to 155 North Market. Across the corner from WIBA. Yeah, we're neighbors now, and uh, well, it's real handy, so I can just walk your lunches right across the street. That's too. right. <laughs> and I, I meant to come over this week, and I, frankly, I got so busy I didn't do it. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, each day we have a, a lunch buffet, mm -hmm. and uh, we focus on several core items. And you know, on the weekend, I have a fried chicken restaurant. It's over in uh, southeast Kansas, in Bronson, Kansas, mm -hmm. and we're only open uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday all day. We get the church crowd, and uh, it's fried chicken, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, chicken he fried steak. makes good stick. fried chicken, I can <laughs> tell you. I've eaten it. So then that's on the weekend, and so uh, I think it's something that everybody would like, and I'm trying to make it available to them. So each, each day on... Our lunch buffet that we have there at uh, the mezzanine level there at the old Lassen Hotel. Um, we have fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Of course, we do barbecue. Well, we've got the, I believe, as good as barbecue as there is in town. You know, there's a lot of good, uh, good barbecue places. I'll grant you that. <laughs> but you know, we use uh, real wood and charcoal. It's not something that's done quickly. But what's the challenge now with the, with the restaurant? What, how's it different well, from the catering? Um, well, actually, the catering is, you know what you got. You know, you can plan your work out. Mm -hmm. uh, People you, are supposed to tell you yeah, at least a certain amount of time ahead. You, as long as the two things that kill you in catering, and I know, is, you know, being late. You can't be late, and you can't run out of food. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and we don't. You know, we, try, we really focus. You do. In fact, we've... <laughs> We've argued about that. I've told you he <laughs> cooks too much. Well, you know, I, I think that repeat business is really where you you stay. Your staying power is in your repeat business. You know, we don't have a thousand a customers. A lot easier to hold a customer than to get one. It is, you know. Uh, but we have, uh, you know, a decent list of customers, you know, that use us all the time. And, and when you think about it, not everybody does catering like every day. No, but we have orders every day. It's because we have a diverse group of people that... Well, how do you balance those two things? If you're trying to do both of those, and I know the catering, that's heavy morning. Well, yeah. Well, we focus on the catering first, uh, I think mostly because of my background, you know, with doing the catering. Um, but that's something that we can, you know, prep ahead, you know, and in the morning we focus on that. And then once we get that done to where it's ready to go into the oven, then we work on our restaurant stuff, and we ha mostly what, it's ba it's a, it's a buffet. Yeah. What are your hours on the restaurant? This Eleven morning? to two, Monday through Friday. Okay. And uh, we have a very nice buffet. Uh, includes soup and salad, uh, desserts, uh, tea, coffee, lemonade. It's it's everything you could want. You can't eat all we have out there. I mean, if you try one. I'm thing, not going to try. <laughs> when I was younger, I would have tried. Well, you know, you can do a half buffet, and you can, or you can do a soup and salad, or you can order a sandwich. You know, we have a, a, a great grilled chicken, you know, type sandwich, and hamburger, a pulled pork sandwich. Uh, you know, and a special of the day. A special of the day could be anything. It could be Italian. It could be Mexican. Uh, right. You know, or fried chicken, or any of that. Any now of those. Which days things. of the week are you open? Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Now we're available evenings and weekends for parties, events, re receptions, business type uh, gatherings, you know, Christmas parties, uh, you know, civic groups, whatever. That's available after 2 o'clock, you know, during the week and then all, all weekends. Now, this is a tough business. I mean, my, my dad at one point thought that he would open a restaurant, and I said, 
do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> I said, you are talking about a ton of work. Hard to get away from. I mean, it's hard to ever have anybody replace you. Yeah, and that's. but you've got to be able to, uh, you know, to manage the work. You know, you can't do everything yourself. You know, right. if you're working out of your house, okay. But, you know, when you, once you get to uh, a level of, you know, we're in compliance, you got employees, you got people depending on you, right? you know, then you have to be able to manage more of the work. Um, how does your wife handle everything? Well, I mean, because that it, it creates a, <laughs> It yeah. creates a certain way you have to work together. You got to, uh, you know, it's hard to separate work from, from you know, your family. Yeah. And, of course, you know, we have a handicapped son, so my wife deals with Tommy uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. So she's limited on what she can do at work. Uh, but she has her ideas about doing stuff, and I let her do them because, uh, you know, women have the knack. She also makes certain things really well. I know. She, that's what I'm saying. I, she's got her thing, and I just, here, honey, how can I help you? Yeah. You know, I was, and, but uh, it's a give and take, you know. It's difficult. It's easy to yell at one of your employees. <laughs> yeah, you can't yell at your wife. You yell at your wife, you're sleeping in the you're, garage. You're in big trouble. <laughs> um, once again, let people know the address for the new restaurant. Well, it's uh, 155 North Market. Okay. Uh, they're at First Street and Market on uh, the mezzanine level. And um, any phone numbers you want to put out for well, either Air Capital or for not, the Yeah, 946-5879. And, uh, now, is that for Air Capital? Air Capital restaurant? and okay. the, That's the catering piece. The catering. And also, the Caesar's Table is the name of our restaurant. Um, there's a couple reasons for that, but just know that it's, you know, fit for an emperor. <laughs> okay. That's a great way to end. We have reached the emperor. We've reached the end of our time. And thank you for being with us on this Wichita's Biz That Is.